welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jay Elise and I am back with another video and as you all can tell from the thumbnail and also the title I will be doing some jumbo box braids now I did do some twists about a month ago and I know a few people wanted to see how I did those but I had just took those down but I will be redoing those but today I am going to be doing the jumbo box braids and it's just the same thing and I am going to be doing the rubber band method now, I'm in a whole different setup, y'all. Normally, I record in my bathroom, and y'all know my background here is normally for my sit-downs, my little chit-chats or whatever, but it's 2021. Your girl finna bring some different type of content for the channel. So, let me know down below if you guys like this or not. But, for this hairstyle here, I will be using this type of hair here. And I do have two packs of those. I'll be using a Cantu Shea Moisture Natural Edge Gel. I will be using the um, Coconut Black Castor Oil Hair Food with Shea Butter. And I also will be using two different oils. I will be using the Camille Rose uh, Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. And also some Wild Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So if you guys are interested into seeing how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Now I am starting out with stretched hair. I did not wash it. I just basically combed out my braids, oiled my scalp, and just left it as is. Now we all know it feels so good once you just let your hair down and you just rub your hands through it. Now I am going to be parting my hair myself so I'm going to just let y'all know right here it's not going to be straight up even. So basically I'm just going to brush my hair all the way up and I'm just going to part it with a ragtail comb. to be checking in a mirror to kind of make sure that the part is a little straight so you all will see me grab this mirror and look at it several times now y'all there is a lot a lot of dry scalp I don't want to say it's dandruff y'all but I was using this oil that dried my scalp out I will be showing you all and telling you all more about that in one of my vlogs but as for right now, I just kind of scratched it out with the comb and I'm going to use my black Jamaican castor oil and just oil my scalp as I go. take this comb right here in the section that I already parted I'm going to part that into three sections you all I will make it these sections will actually be really big I will probably have a total of about nine about nine or ten braids in my head it's not going to be a lot it's just a quick protective style that I wanted to do just for a week y'all because I just did not feel like wearing wigs anymore and to make sure that it is a protective style I'm going to take my rubber bands and I'm going to take the Camille Rose oil and I'm just going to kind of put that in the top. That way it won't really tug on the roots of my hair. Now I've already sectioned off those three and I got just kind of twisted the other two to keep it out the way. Now I am going to go through with the um, edge control, the Cantu edge control and put it on the base of my hair to kind of make sure when I go to braid it to make sure it's really sleek. And then I'm going to take the Shea Butter Conditioning Cream well conditioning butter and I'm going to put that on the ends of my hair rubbing it all the way through because you all know this is a protective style and my hair is going to be up for one or two weeks and I just want to make sure that I do keep my hair moisturized within that time.
right y'all now this is not an actual tutorial on how to braid i was just showing you guys how i achieved this style now if you all want more detailed videos just comment down below and i will do those because i do switch my hair up quite often and you know i'm just trying to bring something new to the channel just some different content because i do my hair a lot so if you guys would like to see more hair videos just let me know and the content it does get a little better i didn't realize how dark it was but I'm just going to speed everything up and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Parted, you don't want to make it straight to where it's going straight down within the other part which you want to do it like layer it brick like which I'm going to show you all right now you see how it's going straight down you don't want that you want it to go over a little bit further like like you laying bricks um, I hope I'm making sense but that's kind of how you want to part it and like I said you all that oil it was a hair fertilizer that I used that dried my scalp out make sure you all Stay tuned for the vlog. It may be up already for this video, which dried my hair out. I will let you all know all the details. But we're going to make these braids here a little bit, you all. Now the parts does not have to be perfect you all because those parts were far from perfect and now as I'm moving up to the front of my hair now on my edges this is the side that's really thin so I tend to make these a little bit bigger because as I said this is a protective style and the whole purpose is to protect the edges you all so I did make them a little bit bigger on the edges.
ahead and just rubber band the whole head you guys and they are not in all the way like box braids like the squares I just kind of parted it the way that my head was going and how I wanted my edges because like I said I didn't want too much tension on my edges so I made those a little bit bigger but I have a total of 11 braids in my head and I'm just going to go ahead and speed the rest of this up and you all will see the finished look in a minute. So this is pretty much how it looked. Like I said, I have a total of 11 braids, you guys. Like I said, it's just a week or two hairstyle just to kind of give my hair a little break from wigs. But I'm going to go ahead and style it and you all will see that coming up in a minute. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.